a whale shark, the biggest shark in the world. The Galapagos Islands, a place full of survivors. Marine iguanas. I don't believe it. 500 pounds, six feet from head to tail. We gotta get down there and get a better look. Everywhere you turn, the animals are heading right towards us. Many now live like no other creature on the planet. They had to change in order to survive. His teeth went like that. Who is this monster? These are the pioneers of the Galapagos. Our mission began in the north, at Darwin Island. Every pioneer that made it to the Galapagos had to cross not only a vast expanse of treacherous, sometimes stormy seas, but also had to run the gauntlet of predators. All right, so the creature we're going looking for is one that the floaters, drifters, and swimmers all had to pass. Sharks. Sharks patrol the waters all around the Galapagos. This is one of the places where they're most numerous. We're making our way to a drop-off at the edge of the reef. Whoa, the current, it's ripping. Strong, real strong. Even the fish seem to have a hard time swimming through this current. The strong current was a major reason the sharks were here. Underwater life is concentrated in ocean currents, and the sharks know that the currents are a good place to find food. We reach the edge of the shelf. The drop-off plunges over 7,000 feet straight down. We had to settle here and wait for the sharks to come by. Sharks, here they come. Galapagos sharks. Right there. Looks like a 10-footer.